Hello, uh, my name's Eugene Ryan. I'm a teacher here at Toyohashi University of Technology, and I've been living and teaching in Japan for over 20 years now. I've taught many, many Japanese students, and often I find that although they've studied English for many years, they're not so confident about actually speaking English. So today I'm gonna to try to encourage you to believe that you can speak better English, even with the words that you know now. So let's get started. Okay, uh, to begin with then, we're gonna talk about how to speak well. So when we speak in English or in any language, what are we trying to achieve? What is the goal of our speaking? And the goal should be to communicate with another person. So it's not important if you make no mistakes or if you have perfect English, it doesn't matter. The point is just to get your meaning from yourself to the other person. So we're gonna talk about how to do that. Uh, first thing, as I said, don't worry how many mistakes you make with your English, it doesn't matter. If the person understands you, that's great. Uh, if you have a thing and you're looking for the perfect word in English, don't worry about that. Calm yourself for a second and then think of a more easy and simple way to say the thing that you want to communicate. Uh, communication is about a relationship between two or more people. So the more that you can relax, the more it's going to make everyone feel relaxed and the communication is going to go better. We're going to look now at a short video clip of a student who's introducing himself on camera. He does a number of good things in this video. Firstly, he looks directly at the camera, just as if you're talking face to face with someone, you should look in their eyes when you're talking. Um, he's using his own words. He hasn't written down things to say. And this is very important. If people try to only memorize sentences on a piece of paper, then in the end, they're gonna talk like a, a robot and it's not really communicating with the other person. Another point, he talks about things that he likes. So he talks about his music in this video. And talking about things you love or you're interested in is going to help you relax and it's going to make everyone have more fun in the conversation. Another key point he shows here is that when he does make a mistake, he just continues. He doesn't worry or panic, especially there's one point where he's trying to find the word fluent, which means to be able to speak very smoothly and well, but he can't quite remember that word. So he pauses and then he says, speak confidently using a more simple word to mean the same thing. So let's have a look at the video now. I love book music. I lately read this book in rock. It's very fun for me. Next is about goals in this, in this class. First, be able to speak English through, um, confidentially with accurate pronunciation. And then debate and talk with other country peoples. That's all. Okay, so we looked about how to communicate well when you're speaking. How about communicating well when you are listening to somebody speaking? We'll look at two main ways to do this. The first way is to use signals. Signals are known in Japanese as aizuchi. So we use these to show the person speaking that we're listening to them, we're interested in what they're saying, and we care about what they're saying. We should try to use a range of signals to cover different feelings, depending on what the speaker is saying. So if they're saying something happy, we give some happy feedback. If they have some sad news or sad story, we reflect that with a sad signal to support them. The second thing we can do when we are listening to communicate well is to use questions. Now you don't need to wait until a speaker has finished everything they want to say. It's okay to ask a question at any time if you do it politely. And asking this question 
it tells the person speaking that you're interested in what they're saying and you want to know more. We're going to look now at another video of two students having a discussion. Watch how when one person is speaking, the other person is always giving spoken feedback and there's different kinds of spoken feedback. There's surprise, there's happiness, there's sadness. And this is letting the speaker know that they're listened to and cared about. Also, the person listening will sometimes ask questions, as we said. And in this video, even the person speaking asks a question. This is also a good way to get your partners involved in the conversation. So now let's look at the video. Your hair? Uh, so did you get your hair cut? Yes, I had my hair cut yesterday. Oh, yeah, right. It's nice. I've been wanting to have my hair cut for a long mm. time. Oh. And I finally cut it. And oh, I, nice, nice. I stayed home and didn't go anywhere because mm. of coronavirus. Oh, yeah, I know. So my hair was very long and messy. Mm, yes, yes, yes. I see. Uh, I went to a hairdresser to have my mm. hair cut, but it was so expensive. Oh. Yes, how much it was? Ah, uh, uh, it's about, I think, 3,000 yen? No, higher than that. Ah, oh, so four thousand? <laughs> no, higher than that. <laughs> really? Oh, uh, five, five, five thousand? Yes, it costs five thousand yen. Really? Oh, no, it's expensive. Uh, more than uh, my thought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was so surprised because. It was mm. little less than 4,000 yen at the previous mm. hairdresser. Oh, yes, I see. Actually, uh, I went to hairdressers too. Uh, it costs about uh, 3,000 yen. But, but uh, I really think your hairstyle looks great. Oh, well, thank you. Yes. That's nice of you to say that. Mm. Yes. Um, oh, I finished? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's my turn. Mm. Yeah, your turn. Uh, because of uh, coronavirus, uh, I have more opportunities uh, to stay home, you know. Oh, yeah. uh, so I started uh, to cook well. Oh, really? Me too. Mm. I cook yeah. every day. Uh, you too? Oh, nice. So, uh, but uh, don't get me wrong, uh, I can't cook a uh, high quality dish. I'm oh, just yeah. like a uh, apprentice in cooking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yesterday, uh, oh, while cooking. I have a question. Hmm? Oh, what, a question? what kind of dish is, did, did you cook? Uh, Oh, okay, uh, recently I cooked uh, Konomiyaki last night, maybe last Konomiyaki. night. I mm. like it. Oh, you like it? Ah, oh, good. Yeah, yeah. It's so delicious. And uh, it's uh, just cut and grilled. So it's very easy to cook for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, and, uh, I learned one point about cooking. Uh, while cooking, uh, we should not be absent minded. Yeah, uh, exactly. Okay, actually, actually, I one time, uh, one day, I was, I, I cooked uh, fried vegetables and uh, I was humming. Mm -hmm. And then, Mm -hmm. Oh, I abandoned the vegetables. Oh, no, no, no. oh that's too bad. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's too, too, too bad. No, 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 no. And, and after cooking, uh, it's so messy in the kitchen. 
Okay, uh, for the next point, we're going to look about how to keep a conversation going and keep it fun. So I have a question for you. Do you have a pet at home? I imagine you have a cute little pet hamster at your house. Now, if you don't feed this hamster, the hamster's going to die. Do you want the hamster to die? I guess not. It's the same thing with a conversation. You need to feed a conversation to keep it going and keep it fun. So how do we feed a conversation? The point is that we need to change the subject that we're talking about little by little so that we always have new things to talk about so the conversation stays interesting. So how do we do this? Well, I'm going to teach you about a method called AAA. So what are the three A's? Somebody asks you a question and then the first A, you answer the question, give them a straight answer to what they asked you. The next A is you add information. So don't just give a short answer, but tell them a little bit more. Maybe add some extra information and some extra detail. The final A is to ask a question back to the other person. Now, the best way to do this is to take the information you added a moment ago and then think of a new question based on this information. So we're going to look at an example now of two students having an excellent conversation in which they use AAA to keep the topic changing and keeping the conversation interesting. So this conversation starts with a question about shopping and then it goes through uh, talking about transport using bicycle, car or motorbike. And finally, it ends up talking about part time jobs. Now listen carefully to the way that after they've answered the question, they add some information and then they use this new information to ask a new question, which is changing the subject and making the conversation interesting. All right, let's have a watch of the student discussion now. Uh, do you go to the supermarket? Oh, I, I go shopping mall, yeah, my house, at once a week. Um, and I buy some vegetables and uh, meat or beef and so on. Uh, mm. Where do you go at the convenience store? Uh, I also go to the shopping mall, but I don't have a uh, bicycle. So I have to walk uh, there and it takes uh, 40 minutes. So I only go twice a month. Uh, do you have a bicycle or a car? Yeah, I have a bicycle, but I can't go too far. So I want mm -hmm. a car or a motor, motorcycle. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a plan buying a car or a motorcycle? Uh, not now. I want it uh, to move, but I don't enough money. Uh, so I want to work part time. Uh, do you plan to work part time jobs? No, of course I want to work part time. But I have a few part-time job experience, so I am mm. wondering what kind of part-time job uh, mm -hmm. I should work. Uh, have you worked part-time before? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, two different uh, part-time jobs. Kombi yeah. uh, bed sushi called the uh, kaiten zushi in oh, Japanese yeah. I see, I see. and the uh, supermarket. Yeah. Uh, 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 I, I remember uh, job 
in kite industry is very very hard. Oh, that's the mark. Yes, thank you. Okay, uh, for the final section of today's lesson, I'm going to talk about what happens when you're not just communicating, but if you need to make a decision as a group. So how do you do effective teamwork? So in a way, this is a process of sharing your opinions, agreeing and disagreeing, and try to come to the best solution for everybody. There are a number of points. Uh, firstly, when you're saying your opinion, you need to say it very clearly. And if you say just what you think is best, no one will listen to you. So you have to explain how your idea is good for everybody. When other people are responding to an opinion, they shouldn't just say their own idea. First, they have to answer the idea or the opinion of the other person. So you should listen carefully to your partner and respond directly to what they've said to say why you agree or disagree with their opinion. Um, if you're not sure, if you still don't understand about the other person's opinion, it's a good idea and very polite to ask them to explain a little bit more about what they're trying to say. Finally, your goal as a team to get good teamwork is to make a decision. And this is usually a matter of compromise, which means everyone giving a little and taking a little. So it's a fair solution for everybody at the end of the day. We're going to look now at a video which is four students having a discussion. Now, in this discussion, they are doing a role play. So they are pretending to be members of a family who have just won the lottery. So they've just won a huge amount of money and they're trying to decide how to divide the money. And each of the students is pretending to be somebody in the family. In this discussion, you will start by seeing one of the students suggests an idea of building a swimming pool. Listen to the way that the other students disagree with his idea, but very specifically, they give a good reason why they think it's not a good idea. And look at the way that the group works together to try to find the best solution for everybody in the end. Okay, have a listen. I, I want to build pools in the garden. Oh, <laughs> oh in our yes. garden? Oh, yes, yes, I should. I want to. Oh, that's a crazy is... idea. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. No, oh, okay, tell but... me, tell me more. Oh, yeah, swimming uh, makes our body uh, strong. So, oh, grandfather, you can live longer time. Uh, <laughs> okay, by, by, by swimming. Uh, so your opinion is by swimming, swimming is, is swimming helps my, my life. Oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, uh, right. But that is, that is not true. I might be die. I might be dead in two, two years. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to to die. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That's okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you want to swim, I think you should go to the public swimming pool. Oh, oh that's public. true. Uh, no, no, no. But <laughs> public, <laughs> public swimming to eat far from my home so it takes uh, long time so uh, i uh, i should pulse in my home i think okay. mm -hmm. uh, that's a hard decision to using that money how yeah. what what should we do I think uh, Harley Davidson is first uh, priority, high priority, because uh 
Ah, sí. Pero... Dai. Yes. Soon. Yes. <laughs> so, and uh, how the David Sun is not expensive uh, prepare with other members mm, dream. dream. Mm. Mm -hmm. so, right, I right. think. Right. Okay, I agree. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I agree. Okay, okay. So, so let's go to the Harvey Davidson shop together. Okay. okay. Hi. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this series of videos, this lesson. Um, I'd like to finish by encouraging you to improve your English communication not because this is your goal, but because you can use English as a tool to meet other people, to express yourselves and to have fun. I hope to meet you one day on campus and perhaps we can have a talk then. So in the meantime, bye for now. Take care of yourself and see you.